Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Tolu Falade and today I will be discussing hearing the voice of God like it says down below. It's going to be a very short discussion. Um, I will be doing a lot more word-based, in-depth discussions in the future. But for those of you that just want some quick tips on how to hear the voice of God, these are the three top tips on my list. And to be honest, we all fall at some point in this curve in every area of our lives at every point in time. The first is relationship, the next is obedience, and the third is trust. Like I just said, a number of us fall in confusion with how to walk in relationship with God. A number of us struggle with obedience and a number of us are trying to learn how to trust God in different areas of our lives. So the first step is relationship. And I always say, just like you have a relationship with your parents and I don't have a relationship with your parents, you have a relationship with your friends or anyone else that's important in your life, that is the reason you are able to recognize their voice. Because I don't have that relationship, I will not be able to recognize their voice, no matter how much they call my name. The same way God is trying to get your attention, but because you don't have a relationship with him, you can't recognize his voice. So the first step and the foundation for walking with God is relationship. A lot of you practice religion, and religion is not relationship. Religion is saying, I have to go to church. I have to pray. I have to read my Bible. Relationship is saying, I want to spend time with God. I want to pray. I can't wait to go to church. Can you see the difference? To some it may seem strange, but just the same way you have a relationship with your friends and you love spending time with them because you get to know them and you've started spending more time trying to understand them. It's the same way God wants you to spend time with him maybe through prayer, start at the beginning because just like you can't develop a friendship overnight, it's the same way you can't develop that relationship with God overnight, which is why a lot of you, when you start out in prayer, you end up falling off the bandwagon. So start by inviting God into your daily decisions. Start by saying a simple prayer of conversation with Him. Start by reading a verse for a week and meditating on it. And you will notice the relationship will develop naturally and organically. The second step is obedience. And a lot of Christians struggle with obedience. Like I said, we all fall at some stage in our lives in either of these three steps. So obedience is learning to trust God. The second and the third step are intertwined, but I'm going to concentrate more on obedience. Obedience is learning to sacrifice to God in trust. Obedience requires sacrifice, and to succeed, you're going to have to sacrifice anyway. You don't end up at the top of your game by being lazy. The same way God requires you to trust Him in obedience. Some of you are struggling with walking away from relationships God has told you quite clearly are not good for you. Some of you are struggling with starting up projects God has instructed you to start, while others of you as trying to learn how to obey God in areas of your life he keeps talking to you about. And there's not going to be any more instruction apart from the one he gave you the last time. So obedience is learning to sacrifice to God and you will see the fruit of your sacrifice once you obey him. This is what grounds the trust in God. This is where the foundation is laid in layers. In other words, this is where when you start obeying God and you sacrifice to Him, you start seeing the benefits of that sacrifice and then you learn to trust Him. I'm going to use the analogy of friends once more. Just like I can't trust certain areas of my life to acquaintances, but I can trust my friends. It's the same way you can trust God because you have Him as not only a father, but a friend. It's also the same reason why when you walk in relationship with God, you want to do these things because you are not practicing religion. Religion is like an acquaintance. Relationship is akin to a friend. So you're either in religion or in relationship. And I'm sure you guys know whichever box you fall into. This is why it is so key to practice relationship. It will lead you to obedience. And then you will start to grow your trust for God because you will have had experiences out of that obedience to him that will show you that he is indeed trustworthy 
for every and all aspects of your lives. And we all struggle with these different areas at all stages of our Christian walks. Some of you are still trying to learn that relationship stage. Some are struggling with obedience and others are trying to learn how to trust God. I hope these tips have helped you to understand how to walk with God and how to hear his voice. Do subscribe and make sure you like this video and share it with your friends. And I will see you guys again soon. I have a video up every week. I promise I'll be here every week sharing something or the other with you guys. So do subscribe and have a nice day.